Hey everybody, it's Old World Gamer, and today I'm making a response video to Chris Mata Games. And uh, that's his uh, YouTube channel, and basically he made a tag video asking uh, several YouTubers um, what are three games that you were really good at as a kid but never actually owned. And for me, it was uh, pretty difficult because I had to always rent games, and you know, it was usually trading. You know, as a uh, you know, I'll give you my game and you give me yours, but we'll trade them for like a month and then we'll give them back or whenever we get sick of them or whatever. But uh, basically, you know, uh, I can remember some games, so I made up a small list and I picked out three that I did like the most. And uh, the first one was uh, one that one of my friends, uh, I think it was in like grade two or something. Um, my friend Jonathan actually owned it, and it's Godzilla for the NES. Yes, that shitty Godzilla game, no, you didn't get to run through buildings and, you know, eat people and all that fun shit that you'd see in the movies. Oh no, it's Godzilla! But, uh, yeah, it was a really fun game for me anyways, and there were several times that I actually went to his place and actually, uh, you know, sat in one sitting of it, actually finished the game, because, I, I don't know, it wasn't that hard. I mean, I don't know if it, anybody else has played it. I'm sure you've played it and finished it. I mean, it's not that hard if you're bored enough, I guess. I mean, if you play it now, it's not that exciting. I should do an LP on it. It'd be kind of funny, actually, and done really fast, probably, as well. But anyways, um, the next game would be uh, Mortal Kombat 2 for the Sega Genesis. Uh, a friend of mine named Joel actually owned the game, and uh, when I was growing up, my mom decided, hey, let's get them, well, in my location, and at the time, the Sega Genesis was cheaper than the Super Nintendo, so she was like, oh, well, let's just get them the cheaper Sega Genesis, which was kind of nice, because I got to play Sonic 2, and it introduced me to, you know, something other than Nintendo, and at the same time, my uncle, they, you know, didn't live too far away from me, and he had a Super Nintendo, so I was able to play Super Nintendo games, you know, quite often. Anyways, getting back to the story, a friend of mine, Joel, uh, he actually owned the game Mortal Kombat 2, and I used to always go to his place all the time to play Sega games, because he had crazy awesome uh, Sega games. He had like Caliber 50, which is okay. The Spider-Man game, the original Spider-Man game was awesome, awesome, awesome. Kid Chameleon, retarded, fun uh, platform game that to this day I still can't finish and I'm planning to LP it sometime, but it's so fucking hard. Um, but yeah, he had Mortal Kombat and I was, uh, First when I started playing, of course, he was much better than me, but eventually I started being able to play and reading through magazines. I was, you know, learning how to do uh, the fatalities at the end, especially ones like um, Scorpion's, uh, what was it, the jugular pull where he just like slices out their head and a big old drop of blood comes down and just makes a big old puddle of like, you know, blood. <laughs> And then there was like, uh, oh, the crazy one where he had to be like Shang Tsung or something, and then like, uh, you held the button or something. Uh, it's been a while since I played it, but you done something like for like 30 seconds, and then when you went to do a fatality, you turned into Kintaro, the, uh, the big forearm dude at the end, and you could actually punch out the person's top part of their torso. And it was called Kintaro's Body Blow, I believe it was called. But anyways, that game was so much fun, I became so good at it, only because I used to go to his place and uh, play it as often as I did. And uh, I guess lastly uh, would be Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Um, when we, when my uncle actually got his Super Nintendo, a game didn't come with it, but uh, my grandmother actually got him a Mario Kart to go with it, which, <laughs> that game is fucking awesome. Um, and uh, that's, I guess that's another game I could say was another game I didn't really own, but I was awesome at. But anyways, that doesn't matter. I, I went with uh, Super Mario World. My friend Patrick actually owned it. And um, we didn't really hang out that much, but every now and again, whenever we talked to each other, it was mostly about video games and stuff, because we were both interested in that kind of stuff at the time. I mean, we weren't huge, like, oh, let's go play sports. I mean, I don't know. We didn't have, like, any fun sports right here anyway. It was, like, football. That's what I'm into. I, like full contact sports. Um, I try hockey, except my feet get cramped in like 10 minutes wearing skates. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Basically, yeah, he had Super Mario World, and uh, I remember just out of the blue one day, I just got a call, and my mom said, you know, someone wanted to talk to you, so we won't pick up the phone, and he's like, hey, it's, you know, it's Patrick, uh, what are you doing? I was like, uh, not too much, just, 
I was probably playing Sega or something at the time. Uh, anyways, he said, yeah, I have uh, Super Mario World here for Super Nintendo, and uh, we're getting stuck in a couple places, and we'd like for you to, you know, come over and see if you can't pass it for us, because it's, you know, been pissing us out for a while now, so. Anyways, I said, okay, fine, I'll come over. So uh, I went over to his place for the first time. <laughs> And basically, uh, I went in and started playing, and one of the things they were trying to get was one of the last ghost houses. I think it's the one, uh, you know, I guess, in World 8 of Super Mario World, where you're at, you know, outside of uh, Bowser's Castle or apartment building or whatever the fuck you want to call that thing. And, um, anyways, yeah, they were at that ghost house, and the secret part there where you grab the key, you have to fly up, but... It's really hard because you have to crouch down at the same time, and they couldn't just figure it out. And it was pretty hard, I gotta say, because once you got in there, it was easy to get knocked out, but you had to keep doing like little jumps at the same time to so say you could slowly get in there. So, um, yeah, I went over and started playing that game with them, and from that point on, me and him have been friends ever since, and we've been playing shit tons of games. Uh, I actually plan on going over to his place. Probably tomorrow night to play Skyrim. He, he's got it for the uh, the Xbox 360, so I'm probably going to go over to his place tomorrow and uh, watch him play some of that. He said he's not very good, so I'll be able to, you know, tell him what I do. Anyways, I'm sure he's going to have. I'm sure he had just as much fun as I do. But anyways, so those are my three games. Um, those are my three games that I picked uh, that I was really good at when I was a kid. Uh, like I said, Godzilla. Every time I used to sit down, I used to finish it. Uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, eventually I was just really good at playing the game, and Fatalities were awesome. <laughs> and Super Mario World, um, something I plan on LPing because I need to get all 100% of that game finished someday. Not that I haven't done it before, I've done tons of tons, but I need to do it for you guys. But anyways, thank you very much Chris Mata for uh, tagging me in that video, you sly bastard. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was an awesome question, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to watching some more of your... Uh, some more of your videos. Go check him out. He plays a lot. He, he's really into the sports games and um, well, not so, well. the sports games he likes, yes, but uh, he likes uh, fighting games way more and I'm a big fan of the fighting games and stuff and um, actually I should go check and see but I, I wonder if he's ever played any Soul Calibur. I'm sure you're watching this Chris, so uh, you want to tell me if you played any Soul Calibur, sir? <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing you, uh, you know, do a review or LP it or something like that. That'd be great. But anyways, thank you very much, Chris, and thank you everybody else for watching. I'm the Old World Gamer, and I'll see you guys again soon.